here we consider an important problem in testing of hypothesis. Suppose a random variable x follows uniform 0 theta where theta is greater than 0. Now we consider the problem of testing h naught theta is equal to theta naught against different types of alternatives. Now this is important because here x lies between 0 and theta. So the range is dependent on the parameter theta and here we can find a uni uniformly most powerful test for testing h naught theta is equal to theta naught against the alternative theta is different from theta naught. So here take a random sample of size n from uniform 0 theta population where theta is greater than 0. So x1, x2, xn independent and identically distributed uniform 0 theta. Here the sample space is like this where x1 is greater than or equal to 0, simultaneously x2 is greater than or equal to 0, xn is greater than or equal to 0. Theta is obviously the unknown parameter and our inferential procedures will focus on testing different hypotheses on theta. For uniform distribution, the PDF of x1 or x2 or xn is f theta x 1 by theta if x is less than or equal to theta and 0 otherwise. So, so, joint PDF of x1, x2, xn is p theta x is product of f theta x1, f theta x2, f theta xn which is 1 by theta to the power n if maximum of x1, x2, xn is less than or equal to theta and 0 otherwise. Why this is so? Because x1 is less than or equal to theta, x2 is less than or equal to theta and xn is less than or equal to theta is equivalent to maximum of x1, x2, xn is less than or equal to theta. So this is the joint PDF of x1, x2, x. Now see this figure for n2 that is only x1 and x2 we may visualize the sample space. So this is the square. So x1 lies between 0 to theta and x2 lies between 0 to theta. Uh, this region, the violet region is the sample space where x1 lies between 0 to theta and x2 lies between 0 to theta. So we consider the problem of testing h0, theta is equal to theta0 theta naught is known against h1 theta is greater than theta naught. So first start with h naught theta is equal to theta naught versus h1 prime theta is equal to theta 1 which is greater than theta naught. So here the null hypothesis is simple and alternative hypothesis is also simple and we aim to find a most powerful test for the problem of testing h naught against this h1 prime. The following figure explains the hypothesis h naught and h1 prime. So n is 2 here, so x1 and x2. So you see the region in pink is the sample space under h naught. Mathematically, the pink and yellow zones can be identified as, so P, so maximum of x1, x2, xn, you can call it x order n is less than or equal to theta naught and 
y the yellow zone is maximum of x 1 x 2 x n lies between theta naught and theta 1. So, the big square that is p union y is the sample space under theta is theta 1. Now, we want to use Neyman Pearson lemma and derive most powerful test for testing theta theta naught versus theta theta 1. So, p theta 1 x is 1 by theta 1 to the power n if x order n is less than or equal to theta 1 and 0 if x order n is greater than theta 1. Write k p theta naught x, k is a constant, so k by theta naught to the power n if x order n is a less than or equal to theta naught and 0 if x order n is greater than theta naught. So, take k a constant is non negative such that 1 by theta 1 to the power n and k by theta naught to the power n same and this reduces to k is theta naught by theta 1 to hold to the power n and this is because we have flexibility in selecting the value of phi the test function in this region where p theta 1 and k p theta naught are same. So, consider this region p theta 1 is strictly greater than p theta naught which is equivalent to p theta 1 is 1 by theta 1 to the power n and k p theta naught is 0 which is equivalent to x order n lies between theta naught and theta 1. The region in violet you see that is the region where x order n lies between theta naught and theta 1 and the pink region is the region under theta theta naught. So, here where p theta 1 is greater than k p theta naught we definitely reject h naught since x order n is greater than theta naught. So, under null hypothesis where theta is theta naught it is not possible that any of x 1 x 2 x n is greater than theta naught. Now, we consider this p theta 1 is a less than k p theta naught which is equivalent to p theta 1 is 0 and k p theta naught is k by theta naught to the power n and this is equivalent to x order n is greater than theta 1 and x order n is less than equal to theta naught because you see that p theta 1 x 0 if x order n greater than theta 1 and k p theta naught is k by theta naught to the power n when x order n is less than or equal to theta naught. So, these two should hold simultaneously. So, both inequalities cannot simultaneously greater than theta 1 and simultaneously less than theta naught where theta 1 is greater than theta naught this is not possible. So, p theta 1 less than k p theta naught this set is a null set. Now, by the Neyman Pearson lemma a most powerful level alpha test for testing h naught against h 1 prime theta theta 1 is of the form phi naught x that is probability of rejection of h naught when x is observed x means x 1 x 2 x n and this is 1 if x order n lies between theta naught to theta 1 because we have already seen that here p theta 1 greater than k p theta naught and this region is equivalent to x order n lies between theta naught and theta 1. Therefore, here we must reject h. So, phi naught x 
the probability of rejection is 1 here and if x order n is greater than theta 1 or x order n is less than or equal to theta naught p theta 1 and k p theta naught are same. So, we can take any value between 0 and 1 such that expected value of phi naught under theta naught is alpha that is the size of the test is alpha. So, we can find most powerful test at level alpha for testing h naught theta theta naught against h 1 prime theta theta 1 and we will look at some special test. Uh, the test phi naught is free to take any value when x order n is greater than theta 1 or x order n is less than equal to theta naught because here p theta 1 and k p theta naught are same. So, make the test free of theta 1. We can assume phi naught as 1 where x order n is greater than theta 1 and any value where x order n is less than or equal to theta naught. So, so phi naught reduces to phi naught is 1 if x order n greater than theta naught. So, this union of this two theta naught to theta 1 and theta 1 and above this is same as x order n is greater than theta naught then phi naught is 1 and any value in between 0 and 1 if x order n is less than or equal to theta naught. Obviously, expected value of phi naught under theta naught that is size of the test is alpha. Now, we consider this a randomized test which is also most powerful. Take any value where x order n is less than or equal to theta naught you take alpha. Then what is expected value of phi naught 1 under theta naught? This is 1 into probability x order n greater than theta naught plus alpha into probability x order n less than equal to theta naught under theta naught. But under theta naught probability x order n is greater than theta naught that probability is 0. Therefore, probability of x order n less than equal to theta naught you see that is 1 because all the values are like are between uh, 0 to theta naught and that probability is definitely 1. So, alpha into 1 so that is alpha. So, this phi naught 1 is a size alpha test and you see that this test is independent of any theta 1 greater than theta naught. Therefore, this is the most powerful test for testing h naught theta theta naught against any theta greater than theta naught. This is uniformly most powerful at level alpha for testing h naught theta theta naught against theta greater. Now, we consider non randomized. So, this is an alternative to randomized test and here we can take any value in this region script x theta naught that is x order n is less than or equal to theta naught. So, take a part of this say a theta naught depending only on theta naught such that the size restriction that is expected value of phi naught under theta naught is alpha. So, define phi naught 2 to 1 if x order n greater than theta naught and if x belongs to a theta naught you take phi naught 2 as 1. So, you reject h naught here and if x is outside this region a theta naught that is within this square x theta naught then it is 0. So, phi naught 2 x is 1 if x order n greater than theta naught and 1 if x belonging to a theta naught and 0 otherwise. And a theta naught is such that probability x belongs to a theta naught is alpha. In this module, we have discussed the problem of testing 
h naught theta is equal to theta naught against alternative h 1 theta is greater than theta naught for uniform 0 theta proposition. And we have found uniformly most powerful randomized test and several uniformly most powerful non-randomized test for H naught versus H 1. And we see that uniformly most powerful test is not unique. 